Welcome, my name is Vishal Texanani. Today I'm speaking to Chris Kelleher, the Managing Director of IWF Holdings, and we're going to talk through IWF's first half 2018 results and IWF's growth strategy. Chris, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. Um, so Chris, IWF released its results on Friday. Can you talk through what you thought were the highlights and um, can you comment on the advice business and how platform margins fared? Uh, yeah, sure. Look, the, the result for us was very pleasing. It was uh, 94.8 million uh, underlying net profit after tax. Uh, up 19% on prior comparative period. All the major metrics running positive very strongly for us. We had new advisors coming on board. So against all normal metrics uh, and, and versus our peers, very positive for us. All right, excellent. Um, and, and the advice business and platform margins, were you, were you happy with how those hold up? Yeah, I think you know there's a lot of focus on margins these days. I, I think we also look to underlying profit as much as margins when we analyse what we're doing. And in particular, our group operating profit was, was very stable. And I, I think that's something that, that, that people aren't focusing on enough. Okay. Um, so something you emphasised in the results with, was that the ANZ Wealth Management acquisition is, is progressing well. Um, can you provide more colour on that? And can you talk to investors about some of the risks? Because M&A activity isn't mm -hmm. without risks, mm -hmm. right? Sure. The, 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 uh, the plan to separate, which is a little complex, is proceeding as per uh, our original budget. And you know, we, we remain confident that it will conclude uh, by uh, on or before the end of October. I think that obviously when you're doing uh, M&A, there are some risks involved, but, but you know, we've been very successful. We've had 40 transactions over the years and they've all concluded very successfully. So we have uh, high aspiration. In terms of what's been going on, all of the steering committees, there are significant resources from both companies being applied to this and uh, yeah, I feel uh, confident at this point that it's going to proceed. Okay, so moving on to the dividend, you've lifted your dividend by 4% to yep. 27 cents mm -hmm. per share, mm -hmm. um, which is great news for shareholders, but yep. it has taken your dividend payout ratio to 100% of earnings. Yep. Yep. So how confident are you of being able to maintain such a dividend profile? Okay, look, we, we've been uh, paying strong dividends, fully frank dividends, I, I think uh, since I've been involved with this group for 20 years. So I think our, uh, our dividend record is exemplary. Uh, in particular, the dividend is, is being maintained at 27 cents per share as an acknowledgement that there was a dilution by virtue of the uh, allotment that we made late last year to finance the ANZ transaction. Yep. And the fact that it's 100% now is really a reflection of how much cash we're holding. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's something that we monitor very closely, but we have lots of franking credits and, and I think uh, shareholders are, you know, are very keen on the company for that purpose. Okay, so last question, more, more general. Um, for NAB trade investors, the majority of their investments in the finance sector are concentrated in the banks. So mm -hmm. when they're looking at a company like IWF, mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the story or the exposure that they're buying into? What's, what, they can, what can they get out of you that they can't get out of a bank or a Suncorp, mm -hmm. for example? Well, I, I think in particular it, it's specialist. You know, we're, we're an advice-led open architecture business and we specialise in wealth management. And we've been doing it uh, very successfully uh, for the last 20 years, probably 30 in my career. And, and therefore, with the reliance on specialisation, you can, you can expect that performance. So we, we don't try and cross up in, into different areas. And, and therefore, our degree of confidence in delivering is, is, is very positive. And, and, and you, you reflect on the, uh, the depth of experience of our executives versus any of our peers. The, the, the depth of experience is, is significantly greater. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks so much, Chris. Any last comments on the earnings or future strategy? No, I think it sets us up well. Uh, you know, the whole strategy is, is to navigate through 2018 with a positive result and then, you know, look forward to, to uh, you know, I think we're, we're targeting uh, EPS growth post uh, the ANZ uh, purchase of something in excess of 20%. Uh, I think that's, you know, that's outstanding and, uh, you know, we're very excited by that. All right, excellent. Chris, thanks so much for coming to speak to me today about IWF's results. My pleasure. Thank you for your interest. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember what we discussed today was general information only. Um, if you're thinking about investing in IWF or any other listed security, please do your research. Please consider seeking financial advice. My name is Vishal Tekshanani and I'll see you next time.